Welcome to the shop, my friends. Steve here at SKS Props, and this is part three of my Chainsaw Man cosplay build. Now, if you didn't check out part one and part two, I'll put links over in the description section, but it went over all of the fabrication and weathering of the helmet. And yes, I do have free PDF templates available if you would like to build your own. Part three is gonna focus all on the arm blades. And just like the helmet, these are made almost completely out of my HD foam, so they weigh next to nothing. The helmet clocks in at one pound, 10 ounces and most of that weight is in the PVC pipes at the top and at the back, and that's to distribute the chainsaw coming out of the forehead. These weigh 11 ounces a piece. That is incredible for their size. The main thing about that is it's a couple sheets of my HD foam, but I've got some fiberglass yard markers that are in here for stability. I didn't want these things floppy, and so they are extremely rigid, but they work great for cosplay because they're nice and light. And con save. So I want to show you what it takes to put his arm blades together. Let's go ahead and get started. I created a quick prototype just to see how I'd make the arm blade structurally sound. And for this I decided to use a fiberglass yard marker that I picked up from our local hardware store. To house the yard marker, the middle of this arm blade is going to be made out of some 6mm HD foam. And because this piece is going to be sandwiched in between some 4mm sheets, I made sure to leave some excess foam all the way around. To create the cavity at the back of the arm blade, I traced around my hand, wrist, and forearm onto some bristol board. This will give me the template for my arm to fit, so obviously you're going to need to change this to fit you. I decided to cut the fiberglass rod into two sections. One long section that'll be across the top of the hand, and then a smaller section underneath. With both of these placed into the foam, it should definitely give enough stability for the arm blade to remain rigid. Tracing around the rods, I use a hobby knife to remove the excess material. And here you can see how the rod will fit in this slot perfectly at the top of the arm blade. I also use my hobby knife to cut out the forearm section from the 6mm foam. Once the foam had been removed, I checked for fit just to make sure this is going to work before I move on. I cut out large strips of 4mm foam. These are going to be sandwiched on either side of the 6mm core. To adhere all these pieces of foam together, I'm going to be using a spray-on contact cement, specifically 3M74. After the contact cement has become tacky, the 6mm core can now be placed onto the 4mm outside piece. This is done for both arm blades, and then a little bit of super glue is used to tack the fiberglass rods into place. Before adding additional adhesive, I once again use my hobby knife to remove the forearm hole out of the 4mm foam. I also use my hobby knife to cut off the rounded sections on either end of the arm blades. Additional contact cement can now be sprayed onto the remaining interior pieces. After the contact cement has been allowed to dry, the pieces can be lined up and pressed together. And then I use a PVC pipe as a rolling pin just to make sure that the contact cement adheres properly. Using the whole template that's already there, the forearm piece can now be cut out of the 4mm on the opposite side. And checking it for fit, the weight and the stability feels really good. As I had mentioned in the beginning, I left excess foam. This can now be trimmed away to reveal the final shape. Just like with Chainsaw Man's head, I take my small link template and transfer that onto strips of 4mm foam. These strips are then cut into individual pieces in preparation for sanding. Luckily sanding these pieces isn't too difficult. I round over each end and then using the side of the drum I put a small divot into the bottom. I'm really glad it wasn't too complicated because I had to create so many of these things for the two arm blades. This is where the blades differ a little bit from the helmet. I take the same small blade template, but this time I'm transferring it onto some 6mm foam. This will make up for the size difference in width for the arm blades. All of these pieces are pretty easily cut out with a hobby knife and some scissors. Just like the small template, the larger template is also traced onto some 6mm HD foam. And after all the pieces have been cut out, now it's time to heat seal. I'm glad that my heat gun has a base to keep it upright, and then I use some heat resistant tweezers to hold each piece over the end. This of course seals the foam, but it also gets rid of any of the fuzzies that are left from cutting them out. Using some super glue, the small links can now be glued onto either side of each blade. So many individual pieces, but it'll be worth it in the end. 
Now I can glue each section onto the perimeter of the arm blade using some Bob Smith super glue. Now when you're gluing these on, make sure that you're alternating from small to large and that they're all facing in the correct direction. And it looks like my math came out just right and all the individual sections fit along the outside of the blade. Now if you needed to cut some to make yours fit, I would recommend to do that back behind the elbow. It's the most hidden spot and really won't be visible when you're getting pics of your cosplay. With the assembly of the blades complete, you can see how they fit perfectly over my forearm. There's just enough tension and pressure in between my fingers and at the back of my elbow to keep these arm blades in place. And again, because I added the fiberglass rods to the interior of the core, the foam is actually really rigid and there's no drooping in either one of the blades. Beginning the sealing and painting process, I'm going to add several light coats of Plasti Dip. Now remember to do this in a well ventilated area and wear your respirator. When applying the Rust-Oleum hammered metal, notice that I'm not spraying it on solid. I'm applying it in a sporadic manner to help give it a weathered look. After the spray paint had been allowed to dry, I can now add my wash, and to do that I'm going to be using Liquitex Mars Black. This pigment is applied with a bunch of water, and then I use a damp paper towel to pick up a lot of the excess paint. This layer is really important though, it helps tint the piece, but also adds a good base for additional layers of paint. Again using my mop brush and Mars Black, but with a lot less water, I can start applying random patterns to the blades to give it a weathered look. I'm always rotating the brush, and again using my damp paper towel to help feather it out. Just like the Chainsaw Man helmet, I'm going to be mixing paints to add gore to the blades. I start off by mixing some Cadmium Red and Mars Black to give me a really dark muddy color. Then I'm going to mix some 5 minute epoxy together on a scrap piece of foam. When you're mixing epoxy, remember to always wear your respirator, but this epoxy is going to be great. It's going to give our gore a nice glossy sheen. After a thorough mixing, I use a chip brush to incorporate the epoxy into the acrylic paints. This mixture can then be heavily applied to the blades in some of the darker regions. This epoxy is bulking out the acrylics, giving us some really awesome textures, but the great thing is it'll keep this shine that it has and it will look awesome for pictures. So you all can see the steps that I took to put together Chainsaw Man's arm blades to go right along with the helmet. And this is a great video series, especially for those that are fans of the manga, and especially when the anime comes out, Chainsaw Man, I guarantee you, is going to be a hit character at conventions all across the world. So if you guys are enjoying these videos, be sure to give them a thumbs up, share them with your friends and family. And remember, if you're building any of my builds or using HD foam, be sure to tag me at SKS Props on Twitter and Instagram because I want to see your creations. Until next time, build your best with the best. HD foam.